Hi, this is Gretchen from the Avondale Civic Center Library. Welcome to More to Explore. More to Explore is a program for ages 6 to 12. In More to Explore, we will learn, create, and share. Tune in every week for new activities. Last week's Brain Teaser asked, there is an ancient invention still used in some parts of the world that allows people to see through walls. And the answer is windows. This week's question is, two people played chess. They played five games. They each won the same number of games and there were no ties. How did this happen? Make sure to watch next week's video for the answer. For today's activity, you're going to need the two sets of paper that are cut into strips, two green pipe cleaners, and two leaves. These are all included in your kit. You'll also need a pen or a pencil. I'm going to use the pattern paper for my pumpkin, and so I need my pattern strips and then my green pipe cleaner. For my green pipe cleaner, what I need to do is bend the end of it so I can make it tight so it doesn't pull through my paper. Next, since I have pattern paper, I need to have the pattern side down and the white side up. If you're using plain one color paper, it doesn't matter which side is up or down. So I have my pipe cleaner with one end bent. I'm going to put the pipe cleaner through the middle hole in my papers. Since I'm using pattern paper, I have the white side facing up, and then the bottom where I just bent the pipe cleaner is going to keep it from coming through the paper. If for some reason you made your bend a little bit too small and the pipe cleaner goes right through, go ahead and redo that so it'll stay. Then I have the pipe cleaner in the middle. I'm going to choose one end that has the holes, and I'm going to thread my pipe cleaner through that end. So put it through the hole, put the pipe cleaner through the holes and thread it through. And then I'm going to take my other end, which also has holes, and thread the pipe cleaner through that end. I'm pulling it tight now and it's making an oval with the green pipe cleaner in the middle. So you can choose how oval or round you want your pumpkin. So make it the oval that you would like. And then if you're going to use the leaf, grab that now, and you're going to thread it onto the pipe cleaner so that it's on top of your pumpkin. So again, choose how you want your pumpkin to be. You can make it really flat. You can make it more like a circle, however you want it to look, and your pipe cleaner is in the middle there. Next, we are going to grab a pen or a pencil so that we can make the decorative vine stem. So we're going to twist the pipe cleaner around the pen or pencil to give it a nice curly vine at the very end of our pumpkin. Next, you wanna spread out your papers because right now they're stacked on top of each other. To make your pumpkin, you're going to pull your papers apart gently and you'll see that as you start moving one, it will move the other ones and you're going to spread out your papers to make the shape of a pumpkin. At the beginning, I used six different strips of paper and you'll see that there are some holes or some space between my strips, so it makes it have a certain look to it with, with paper and space. But if you want yours to be closer together, then you use more strips so there isn't space between your papers. So you can see I have two different pumpkins here. One is my solid pumpkin and it has more strips of paper so there's less space between the strips. And then my other pumpkin, which has six strips of paper, has bigger holes. So if you have some paper around your house that you think would make a good pumpkin, ask a parent. And then what you need to do is cut the paper into strips. You can make them however wide you would like. Try to make them as close to the same width, which is how fat they are, but 
between the ends. Try to make those the same width and so they fit, but if they're not perfect, that's okay. You'll see that mine are not perfect. So you'll need to punch holes, one at each end, and then one in the middle. After that, you're just going to need a pipe cleaner, or some people even use a little brad to put them together, or wire, and, but it's up to you how you want to make them. We've included supplies for you to make two pumpkins, but like I said, you can always make more. And we hope you had fun making paper pumpkins this week. Bye. The picture book I'd like to recommend today is Sophie Squash. It's based on the true story of the author and her daughter Sonia and her squash. So in this book, Sophie and her family go to the farmer's market and they pick up a squash for dinner. But Sophie becomes attached to the squash and names her Bernice and treats her like a baby. She takes her everywhere and they become good friends. Even though her parents try to find a toy or something else that she would like, she refuses to give up Bernice. As Bernice gets older, she gets softer and squishier and has brown spots. Kids make fun of Sophie for carrying Bernice around. What will happen with Sophie and Bernice? Will they be friends forever? Find out in Sophie's Squash. The Tapper Twins Go to War with Each Other is the first book in a series about 12-year-old Tapper Twins, Reese and Claudia. It all starts with a Pop-Tart and then continues on to be a prank war against each other, twin against twin. What I like about the book is that it has photos, it has regular text, it also has text messages, screenshots from video games, and these all come together to tell a funny story about how Reese and Claudia try to get back at each other and also try to stay friends, brother and sister. So read the book, find out about their funny pranks, and find out if they end up getting along in the end.